Hey folks, Crazy Climberator here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Salamander 2. And this was created by Konami in 1996, which was 10 years after Salamander 1, which was known in the U.S. as Life Force. This game was released only in Japan, as far as I know. But, uh, in my opinion, it's too similar to Life Force. Um, you have many of the same power-ups. Um, th a lot of the levels seem similar. Um, you get the same kind of, uh, um, options. Um, you have, uh, voice samples telling you what type of power-up you picked up. This was suggested by YouTube user Be Nice one It's got kind of a cool opening here. Which uh, the original wasn't technically advanced enough to show. But yeah, it's... it's. I don't think it's that strong a title in the uh, Gradius uh, series. For being released 10 years after Salamander 1, I would think this would be uh, a little more technically impressive. Now this is kind of interesting. During the attract mode, you can control the uh, spaceship, and I'm doing it right there. <laughs> that is kind of cool. But yeah, there's... There's, uh, missiles, there's options, there's the, uh, laser. There is also an, uh, an optional second weapon with a second button, and it'll produce a really strong shot. I think it uses up some of your, uh, some of your weapon power and uh, will downgrade if you use all of your uh, secondary bombs or at least that's been my experience I think we'll go ahead and get started in just a moment one thing to remember is if you're uh, up against a particularly difficult opponent and the game isn't difficult early on. It's, it's actually somewhat easy. <laughs> um, even for people that aren't good at shooters like like me. <laughs> uh, but the difficulty will really, really spike later on in the game. But if you get to a certain particularly difficult opponent and you have trouble and you keep dying, uh, while you're starting your next life, you're briefly invincible, and you can heavily damage the enemy and just plow through them, you know, while you're, uh, while you're briefly invincible. So do that. You could, uh, lay waste to a boss that way very easily. Yeah, there's the twin missiles. Those are super, super helpful. Yeah. Those little spiky things rising up and, and down, those were in life force. Just too many familiar uh, things from life force in this game, or Salamander 1. Just not original enough, in my opinion. And that brain guy was from, uh, oops, was from uh, life force. But... This is kind of cool. He gets swallowed by another uh, monster, and you have to shoot the monster's uh, tongue. And he's really quite easy. Just dodge when he's about to charge, and just keep uh, weaving around and shooting those little snake things, and shoot his mouth. Eventually, you'll be able to get some uh, power-ups from all those snakes you're shooting, or uh, from shooting his tongue. But you have rapid fire just by holding the uh, button down. You'll constantly shoot at least.
He takes a while, but he's really quite easy. Just be ready to dodge. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this was released only in Japan. And he's dead. Just like in Life Force, you will play some uh, horizontally scrolling levels and some vertically scrolling levels. But yeah, this generally feels too much like Life Force. There's some uh, giant meteors or whatever that is that you can destroy. That wasn't in, uh, wasn't in Life Force that I remember. And there's the uh, ripple shots. But the laser is really what you want. It's a steady, strong stream of lasers, and you can just hold down the fire button and just keep shooting them. Like I was saying, there is a secondary bomb. Ooh, if you get if you get a uh, certain amount of power-ups for a certain weapon, and then you get one more, then you'll have a limited super shot. And we just saw that with my laser. And it lasts for like maybe 10 seconds. And there's that ripple that that was pretty useful in uh, Life Force. But yeah, um, that secondary button fires uh, bombs. You have a limited supply of those. Here is a boss here. You can't just sit there and let your options take care of the boss for you because he'll move over above you and uh, fire at you. Eh, crap. Fortunately in this game it's very easy for you to recollect your options. They'll float around, they won't float off screen very likely. And there was my uh, bomb shot. And uh, you can uh, you can get varying different uh, special shots from uh, from your uh, bomb, depending on what weapon you have. It may uh, just fire a little force field in front of you. It may have a very strong blast. Yeah, this game is just a little too much like um, Life Force for my liking. And the game just brutally spikes up in difficulty at, at one point during the game. And I think it's starting on the next level that it's, it just gets crazy hard. Yeah, those snake things, you really, really want to take care of them and they take a lot of shots. I'm uh, gonna skip to uh, parts of the later levels in just a little bit. I'm not gonna play through the whole game, that would just take too damn long. And decent music, of course. Uh, Konami was always very good with their music in games. If the games themselves weren't that great, the music was at least very good. Uh, don't go too crazy on uh, speed ups. I did uh, prior to that collision there. But uh, if you elect not to continue, you get to put in your initials. But I will show you uh, myself continuing in a little bit. <laughs> I didn't get to hear what he said. Something never. But uh, let's just skip forward to uh, certain parts. Yeah, you can easily run out of room. But yeah, you can get your uh, 
options back very easily after you die. And you can uh, plow through an enemy while you're briefly invincible on your next life and cause massive damage. So do so. And now this is the boss. Gotta watch out for these guys that appear from those holes and shoot uh, the wall surrounding the boss. Ah, oh, crap. No, it's not over. Get out of the way of that guy. Oops, <laughs> he's gonna slam into you and kill you. Just circle around him and shoot. What? Damn it. Yeah, I caused massive damage on him by plowing through him while I was uh, briefly invincible. And now on this level, you start off having to uh, fly around these really big ships. Ah, crap. <laughs> yeah, look for the letter on the uh, on various power-up icons that'll tell you what's what's in them. M for missile and um, L for laser. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll just skip ahead to various parts in the game. Yeah, they're probably still making uh, uh, Gradius games to this day. Such a phenomenal uh, shooter series. One of the all-time uh, most recognizable ones. Yeah, you can't get any more than four options at once. And this guy is also in life force. Yeah, he's, his arms move too fast. I'm gonna scoot forward and show you what it's like to destroy him. And by plowing through him with invincibility, plus my secondary uh, bomb weapon, I was able to take him out. Now on this level, you have uh, asteroids or uh, meteors or whatever to uh, blast through. Well, happy uh, first of June. Yeah, I've been hoping for constant summer weather and. I'm getting rain every once in a while. This has been an extremely, extremely wet uh, year for uh, the Portland area, Portland, Oregon. Damn it! Well, thank goodness I'm gonna get a uh, a guy to work on my roof and keep the rain from coming in through the uh, between the canopy and the roof it's something I've been needing to take care of for a long time and this boss I'm just gonna get behind him and take out the boss that he's been guarding but I also have to destroy him he keeps getting in the way of The other boss I need to destroy. There we go. We're almost to the end now.
Yikes, ran out of room. <laughs> but yeah, thank goodness that you can easily recollect your uh, your options. The crap. Yeah, the difficulty has really spiked by this point. Those tiles there, you can shoot them and, and uncover some uh, weapon ups or options. Uh, crap, I love the laser. The laser is something you really want to stick with if you can uh, help it. That way you can just hold down the fire button and just constantly shoot powerful streams of lasers. Now we have these guys that that pester you. There was my uh, secondary bomb button. Oops. But yeah, I'll skip ahead in just a moment. Yeah, again, there will be uh, icons that you can pick up and they will give you uh, really strong uh, shots of whatever uh, weapon that you have. And that'll last for about 10 seconds. There's these ice crystals I'm gonna keep shooting. And then once you pass them, you go to the boss. This guy's a bit of a pain in the ass. You have to shoot his body and you have to watch out for his lasers. Yeah, dang it. I should have uh, ran through him while I was briefly invincible. And you should do that too. Anytime you encounter a boss that's kind of a pain. I'll scoop for it and I'll destroy him by laser. There we go. Now this is the last section here coming up. And this is reminiscent a little bit of Life Force as well. You'll speed up a little bit through here and things will stick out of the walls and try to crush you like they're alien heads yeah I didn't think this was that great a game in the uh, Gradius series and here is the final boss and he takes a long time to destroy and he unleashes a big old hail of bullets <laughs> damn it I was in the clear and then I get killed by the last shot and then he shoots out these green blasts at you. <sighs> but I'll scoot forward and uh, destroy him here in just a second. Ugh. <sighs> Your score uh, restarts when you continue with the next life. I'll take you to hell with me. Don't worry, your ship will will get out of here in time. The computer will all automatically take control of it and you'll fly out in time like there. The Vic Viper is player number one. I forget the name for the second player. Here are the credits. The game will start over from the beginning with increased difficulty. But that is Salamander 2, the sequel to Salamander, which is also known as Life Force in the US. But this was released only in Japan as far as I know. And this was suggested by YouTube user BeNice1. I am still taking requests, folks. Don't be too uh, heartbroken if I can't fulfill a request because it's not emulated or the controls 
are too difficult to emulate or something. Just think of a different game. I'll, uh, I'll keep those games written down though and maybe someday if I can if I have some free time I'll try to figure out the controls or, or if I find out it's been emulated I'll give it another go. <laughs> Drunkard Mori Chichi Binta Tsukaba Uh, that is Salamander 2 by Konami in 1996, 10 years after the original uh, Salamander or Life Force. And there it starts again, see? With the increased difficulty. But that is Salamander 2 by uh, Konami in 1996 and uh, it is a sequel to Salamander well I thanks thank you for watching and I'll catch you later with another video have a good one folks bye bye